Recently, I have been studying the determinants of disease. We are evaluating different factors environmentally, which is external factors, in relation to internal factors in terms of genetics, metabolomics, and other biological factors. We have two major projects that we have an eye at. The first is the IBDGC Africa, and we are just signing the contracts now. It's a huge project funded by Michael J. Fox Foundation, aiming to uh, perform whole genome sequencing for uh, Parkinson patients in different African countries. This is called Exposo. It's an international collaboration led and coordinated by the AUC Institute of Global Health. The more we dig deeper into the different determinants of disease, we understood that actually it's much better to understand first determinants of health. And we are launching or initiating now uh, uh, the first Egyptian longitudinal aging study. It's called al Saha, a longitudinal study of Egyptian healthy aging. We are lagging beyond other countries worldwide. It's important to start it and start it now. So we will be able to develop policies and inform decision makers on what direction they should follow. Recently, I celebrated two awards. The first is from Society of Toxicology, and it's given to toxicologists of Arabic origin. And they gave it to me based on my continuous research in the area of neurodegenerative disease and determinants, evaluating the relation between pesticides and Parkinson's disease, and the recent project launched, which is Exposome, uh, because this is an impactful project. And the second award is uh, one given by the Medic Egyptian Medical Syndicate and uh, titles the Ideal Physician. The good thing about this award is usually it's given to clinicians appreciating their clinical practice. However, I guess this is the first time they give it to a clinician and scientist as well, starting to appreciate the basic science, translational science, which is something I have been asking and promoting throughout my career. So I guess this is finally something that has been appreciated by the medical syndicate and it promotes the possibility of future collaboration between basic scientists and physicians as well.